On Friday, a magnitude 6.0, 265 kilometers northeast of Scott Island Bank, Antarctica, was yet another major quake on the Pacific Rim. It was the 13th major quake this year, and we are just into February, and all of them, except three, I believe, were along the Ring of Fire. Add to that this week, Mexico's most active volcano, Popocatapetl exploded an ash column higher than a mile into the sky and the Guatemala Colossus, Volcan de Fuego, fire volcano, spewed an ash tower 1.7 kilometers into the sky and less than 50 kilometers from 3 million people. We can certainly safely testify the ring of fire is still extremely unsettled with 11 volatile active volcanoes and just this morning it was reported that the outflow of lava is at 2 million cubic meters per day and heading towards Legaspi city and Araga town as Mount Mayon volcano of the Philippines remains at an extremely dangerous, dangerous level and on Wednesday, the Pacific Ring of Fire, Vanuatu Island, the volcano Gawa rumbled back to life in the South Pacific Ocean. And it was reported Tuesday, more than 400 aftershocks have rattled the Gulf of Alaska, 
after the powerful and magnitude 7.9 rocked Kodiak Island on Tuesday, with many of the aft aftershocks significant and some in the mid-5 magnitude. And spare a, th a thought for the Aussies as a severe heat wave in South Australia this week with incredible temperatures in some areas nudging 50 degrees Celsius, 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Now to the other end of the crazy scale, it should be 20 degrees centigrade, but a rare snowstorm hits the Saudi Arabian desert days after Morocco in North Africa saw minus 7 degrees Celsius with heavy snow and also heavy snow close by in Algeria, also in North Africa. In just two years time the world will have lost two-thirds of all wild animals. This amazing statistic from the Living Planet Index claims the number of wild animals living on Earth is set to fall by two-thirds by 2020, according to the new report, part of a mass extinction that is destroying the natural world upon which humanity depends. The analysts, the most comprehensive to date, indicates that an animal populations plummeted by 58% between 1970 and 2012, with losses on track to reach 67% by 2020. So it should come as no shock or surprise to read that kangaroo numbers are the latest animal to be diminishing by an unsustainable amount. In the 12 months between 2016 and 2017, nearly 4 million kangaroos have died in Australia from a mystery disease. Millions of kangaroos are being wiped out down under by a mystery disease that causes massive hemorrhages and internal bleeding. And another tipping point breached this week as the monarch butterfly has a 95% decline since the 1980s in North America and Mexico. The latest tally of 200,000 monarchs in forested groves in California's central coast has dropped from 1.2 million counted two decades ago, indicating the number of butterflies found west of the Rocky Mountains or the so-called western population continues to sharply decline. There's no doubt about it folks, Earth has crossed its tipping point. In 1970 when researchers started tracking the decline of the species, there were roughly half the people on Earth as there is now. We will hit 8 billion people within the next 8 years, by which time, in my opinion, it's game over because I sincerely believe most of the animals will be gone by then. Well, on that sombre, sad note, I will uh, stop. I, will, uh, I wish you all well. Thank you all for watching and listening, and hopefully I'll see you all next week.